What's up, guys? It's GDJ Rod. Uh, gonna do my uh, Wednesday pool video. Got some things today uh, from my shop and stuff. Uh, just figured I'd get on here and show you guys real quick uh, what all I picked up today. Um, hope everybody out there is doing good. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's get this started. I got uh, my two image books today. I picked up uh, Spawn number two thirty two. Can't believe this guy's been around. He's been doing this this character for 20 years. It's amazing. I like the artwork in there. Um, I like it, but I just, to me, my favorites whenever it was just, you know, Greg Capullo and uh, would do it, and him and McFarlane, man, it was awesome. But still like this artist. Um, I think I said this issue here was... Yeah, this is the 32nd straight issue. They've had the same art team. So they've been doing really well. Um, I like it a lot. I just, you know, I kind of miss the old school stuff. Um, let's see. We got East to West, number three. Love this book. I think there's only two issues left in this run. I think it's a five-issue series they're doing. I think, maybe. I don't know how long they're doing this. Oh, that's something else I'm thinking of. That's, uh, that's five ghosts. It's going to be a five-issue run. I don't know how long they're doing East to West. Uh, but I like I love the cover art on these. This is good. The artwork in the book's amazing. Loving the story. If you haven't picked this up yet, go to your shop. Try to find it. It's definitely worth reading. Image is just killing it with some of these books I've got out now. Uh, and this is mainly uh, the only new DC book I picked up today. Uh, Batman Detective Comics number 21, Shadow Assassin. This was a pretty cool storyline here, too. But I'm liking it. Love Detective Comics. Love Batman books. Can't go wrong with Batman. All right. Now on to the Marvel books I picked up today. Got two of those. Uh, we got Age of Ultron number nine. Got Wolverine, stabbing Wolverine on here. Gotta love that. Look, the artwork in this book too is pretty good. It's been so far, I mean, up till now, up to the last couple issues, I don't know what y'all think. I like this book a lot, but it kind of seems like it's kind of, like the last couple issues, the story's kind of been, oh, it's been falling off for me. I don't know. Y'all, y'all tell me what you think about this book. Um, if you watch this video, which I hope you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just feels like the story's kind of falling off you know, a little bit. It's not as good, as good as it was in the beginning. Now this book, I'm really digging so far. This is the third book in the series. Um, not sure how many of these they're doing. I think it's like a 10 or 12 issue run, maybe. Um, Jason Aaron, <clears throat> Simone uh, Bianchi, and uh, I Scorsina, I think is how you pronounce it. Thanos Rising. Jason Aaron's cool, man. He writes some crazy shit. And he and they got some cool artwork on this book, too. I hope you guys can see the cover already. All right. But I really like his book so far. And Jason Aaron, man, he writes some crazy stuff. Um, but it's good, though. Really good. He's good. He's got a good writer, man. But I'm liking this book so far, Thanos Rising. Um, that's all the new books I got from my pool today. I don't really have much on my pool list. Um, I did have to pick these two books up, though, to complete my three-issue mini-series. This is actually a three-issue uh, book series. Um, if you guys like Green Arrow, I definitely recommend picking these three books up. They're not very expensive. I got these two for a little bit of nothing today um, from a buddy of mine that actually was selling his collection, or a big part of it anyway. Um, he, he had... Um, doubles, triples, all these. So I actually found the the two that I need. I've actually got book one, um, and I picked up book two and book three. But it's uh it's by Mike Grell. It's uh, the Green Arrow Long Longbow Hunters. Um, I don't have number one out here with me. Um, I've showed it, I believe, on a previous video. I may have, I may have showed it to you sometime. I'll have to go get it. But anyway, the cover on it's green, and all the covers are different. But anyway, this is uh, Mike Grell's Green Arrow Long the Longbow Hunters, book number two. Um, or actually, no, this is book number three. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll ask backwards today. Sorry, guys. Here's book number two. Uh, it's called The Dragon Hunt. 
real cool artwork, cool story in this. I'm really digging it. I like my girl's uh, writing in this. It's pretty good. And then here, once again, this is uh, book number three, Tracking Snow. And these are actually pretty cool, too, because they do have wraparound covers on them. But, uh, yeah, definitely pick them up, man. Definitely recommend Longbow Hunters. If you haven't read them yet, I like them. I like the first book. And I've I read the second and third one uh, just a little, a little bit ago. Got done reading those and uh, really enjoy them. Really enjoy them a lot. Now, this isn't a comic book, but it does have something to do with comics. Uh, actually, I got to pick this up today uh, from my DVD collection. And if you like this character, I definitely recommend picking this up. This is uh, Todd McFarlane's Spawn, the Ultimate Collection. It's the HBO animated series box set. I can't, I, guess, I can't wait to start watching these. I'm going to do that here in just a little bit when I get off here. So I'm going to be spawned out for the night's over with. Um, but that's the um, the uh, the HBO uh, animated series that was exclusively on HBO. Um, it's three discs. It's 440 minutes long. Um, it's a three disc. Well, three all three seasons of Spawn that were on HBO, the animated series. And then um, it's also got a uh, another disc. Um, uh, it's got an exclusive interview with uh, Todd McFarlane. It's called uh, In the Mind of Todd McFarlane. And, and it's got more and other special feature stuff. But I thought it was pretty cool. I like the inside of it. Uh, you kind of open it up here. and It tells you what's on there, which episodes are what. I think disc one... Season 1's got 32 episodes, Season 2's got 19, and then 29 episodes on, uh, on uh, I think they're half hour long, maybe, something like that, maybe a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, they're half hour long shows, I think, but here's the discs, here's the McFarlane one right here, it's a DVD-ROM, um, but then your computer or whatever, and then here's the other three discs too. So yeah, I'm stoked about watching this. I can't wait to pop these in and just start vegging out and watching Spawn. But yeah, definitely worth uh, buying. Um, I picked this up at Best Buy. It's not real expensive. It was actually on sale, but I love Spawn, man. The character, the movie, the movie sucked. And I'm sure you all can agree with me. I mean, I don't even think, even for the time, it was as good as, as it, you know, like how some movies are good for what they had back then, they still could have done a better job. That movie was terrible. Um, I didn't really like it. I have it. I just, it just wouldn't, it just think, it could have been a lot better. It's one of those movies that has a character and characters in it that has a lot of potential to be a kick-ass movie. Um, I think it'd be great. Um, I was hearing rumors on the internet that they're talking about rebooting it. Uh, remaking a new movie, and that I think that'd be cool, um, as long as they do it right. Um, you know, y'all tell me what you think about that. Um, you know, if it's got, you know, who you think would be good at playing in that, and uh, you know, what you guys thought about the original film. Uh, the animated series, from what I've saw so far, is great. I mean, you can't go wrong with the animated series. It's, it's really, really good. Um, blows the movie out of the water. But, uh, yeah, y'all tell me what you think about that and, uh, you know, who you think would uh, be good actors or something in that movie if they redid it. But, uh, anyway, that's my comic book pull for today and the stuff I picked up from a shop and such. So, uh, I'm going to jump off here, going to go watch some Spawn and relax, enjoy the rest of my day off. Y'all don't work too hard the rest of the week. It's hump day. It's over with. Just a couple more days left in the weekends here, guys. We can make it. Um, y'all take care, be good, uh, be good, and, uh, we'll talk to y'all next time.